Okay, we are given this equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to c squared, and we are going to solve for y. That means we have to get the y by itself. And notice that the y is right here, so we have to get rid of the x squared, right? And let's go ahead, minus x squared on both sides, so they cancel. And then we have this part with the y, so that's y squared. And then this is a z squared minus x squared, like that. Okay, I want to get y by itself, but this is really y to the second power. So what should we do? Remember, to get rid of the square, we can just take the square root on both sides, so that this and that will be cancelled. And also, because these are just variables, we are not doing Pythagorean theorem. We are not talking about the sides of right triangles or things like that. Be sure you attach the plus minus whenever you take the square root on both sides. And then you have y by itself now, and that's equal to in this expression, a really common mistake is that people tend to just cross out the square root and also the squares. We cannot do that. We have to keep this as how it is. Just like the distance formula, you have to make sure you have the square root and also the squares like this inside. But anyway, you write down as plus minus square root z squared minus x squared. And once again, don't cancel out the square and the square roots. The reason is because inside here, we have to do the subtraction first of the squares, right? Anyway, this is it.